So landscapes. Um, landscapes are really uh, the, the physical interface between what's above the atmosphere, what's below the, the solid Earth. They're a zone of intense dynamism. They're where things move around, they grow, they die, they interact in lots and lots of ways. Um, and, I, and over, of course, lots and lots of different timescales. Uh, the uh, landscapes are also hubs and intermediaries for connections between lots of other different kinds of things. Um, including social interactions and people, and we're interested in our cluster and all of the, in all, all of these things. Uh, we use modelling. We use a whole range of modelling techniques. We use uh, equipment, and we also use lots of field-based equipment and field-based methods. In fact, uh, you could probably describe what we do as leaving odd pieces of equipment in some of the most beautiful places <laughs> in the world. I think that would be a, a reasonable description of it. Um, Namibia is one of those beautiful places that we sometimes go to, luckily. Uh, we study the natural processes that begin this cycle, breaking down the basic geological material down into sedimentary um, uh, particles. This is important because it begins the whole process of engineering soils, that goes to plants, to ecosystems, etc. So it's very important we understand these processes. <coughs> these processes can also sometimes work against us, um, in, for example, eroding uh, cultural artefacts, uh, rock art for example, <coughs> or by um, speeding up the processes of coastal erosion. So we also look into ways of mediating, controlling uh, and predicting these sorts of uh, unfortunate uh, side of the subject as well. Um, this degraded rock, the sediment, is moved around the, um, the landscape in lots of ways, um, which we investigate thoroughly within our cluster here. Uh, Windblown material moving through Namibia, uh, measurements of uh, turbulence and, um, and wind speed around some dunes in, in Namibia. Uh, the transport of this sediment is controlled by a whole variety of climatic and environmental factors. These factors change dramatically over time and space. Um, the, the deposition of this material forms an archive that relates to the nature of the conditions during which it was transported and deposited. We investigate the properties of this material and we date it with great uh, intensity uh, to try and understand how these things have evolved over time. Um, the, the, the transport of material can also take on uh, epic proportions, as you've seen already from the dust work. Um, here's some, some nutrient-rich dust plume plumes blowing off the western coast of Africa fertilizing the biological activity in the Atlantic. We study the mechanisms and the processes responsible for these sorts of uh, plumes. Uh, you've also already heard about the dustiest place on Earth, so I won't go into that in any more detail. Of course, dust isn't the only way in which landscapes interact with climate. Uh, we also study changes in um, albedo, the reflectivity of the surface, evaporation, um, distribution of plants, and also how plants respond to climate, so the whole, the whole sort of interaction. Uh, as uh, residents of the Anthropocene, we're all acutely aware of these interactions between people and landscape. Um, we have lots of projects looking at this interaction over different timescales in different places around the world, uh, back into deep history of uh, humanity, all, all the way into the present and projecting into the future. Um, an example of that is uh, this lovely work looking at uh, tectonic, the geological controls on groundwater and this, um, uh, the way the aquifer, aquifers were used in Iran over 5,000 years ago, channeling this water for human use and the effect of tectonics on the ability to do that. We also look at urban landscapes, I'm glad to say. Uh, some nice work going on looking at environmental conditions in, in Beijing. So uh, that's it. Um, I'll hand over to Sally. I hope you understand where our fascination with the landscapes comes from. Um, thanks for listening.